seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> Caught me walking around the neighborhood taking shots. All good, bro. All good. You like what you're getting? Or? Yeah, man. I like it a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Did you ever notice how beautiful your city is? Yeah, I did. When I was a kid, we moved from Paramount. I was kind of sad. When we got here, started going to school here. I loved it. Uh, it would it would be a good idea for us to just recap some of our history here, cause. You and your family have been here since. Uh, I had my seventh birthday here. That's true, and we went to uh, we went rollerblade skating. Skate depot. Skate depot. Which is actually down the street. It's still here. Mm, it's gone. Well, we're gonna go get lunch right now, and um, I'm not sure what this video is gonna be about. Well, we're here at uh, Pier 76 Fish and Grill. I wonder if it's gonna be any good. Let's get a shot of it. Thank you. I got this. Twenty-four. Kobe. How's your salad? A freaking amazing, dude. I, it's really good, dude. I'm loving my fish sandwich. I think that was the best grilled fish sandwich I've ever had in my life. It looked really good. It's Pier 76 in Cerritos Fish and Grill. I recommend it. But I think right now, uh, I don't know, dude. Are you, are you committed? Like, are we going to go look at some of the spots that we used to go to before? Some, like, places here that we have history yeah. about? Should we do that? First yeah. stop, what, Liberty? Or your park? Or maybe we'll end with your park. Okay. Yeah. We should end with his park. Okay. <laughs> Yes. For for those of you guys cringing right now and saying to yourself, oh crap, what are they gonna say? Yeah, be ready, it's gonna happen at the end of this vlog. <laughs> does anyone have a does anyone have a girlfriend or a wife that was there? At that are you talking about the same night I'm talking about? That you're talking about? Oh my gosh. <laughs> what girlfriend? Hold on. <laughs> so we talked it over and we decided we won't say names. But but you know who you are, dude. If you're guilty, you know you're guilty and fess up to your wife or your girlfriend. You're lucky! You're lucky I'm not gonna say names, dude. This is just us telling stories. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. <laughs> To be completely honest, this episode is getting finished like, what is it, like a month later? <laughs> or maybe like three weeks later because the audio was so bad on that first take that I made this guy redo it. But just like we were planning, it's story time. Okay guys, so we are at Liberty Park and I'm zoomed in like crazy right now because I don't want to be like that pervert with a camera in the park. Like actual playground. What's the significance of this park? Um, there was a, an incident that went down that actually started at the mall with a, with a close friend of ours. And there was confrontations, there was egos tested, and I'll bring my friends, meet your friends at a particular park. This is- Oh my gosh, that, that was all on uh, MySpace. Yeah. Yeah, I that back so. and forth is on MySpace. That, that's what I don't understand, like, okay, to our friend. <laughs> what were you thinking, dude? But if I'm that upset to fight, I'm not gonna go and arrange a time for us to fight. It would happen right there and then, right? I mean, we didn't see them, but he did, and they're you know, like, meet us at this park or whatever. And we walk here. Yes. And I remember, I remember I brought a, I was being stupid, I brought like a butterfly knife. And you brought a bat? I brought a bat that I stowed away somewhere. I'm scared of getting caught with it. So we meet up here late at night. Yeah, we scheduled the time to fight on MySpace at the, the playground. So we come, us three, and then I believe that that guy that we we're going to fight had like one homie with him. He had like a couple guys with him. And then 
when the confrontation started, his friends from the trees somewhere. Yeah, came, they, they popped out of nowhere and they, they circled nowhere. us. It was like the scene it was like a scene out of Warriors. Yeah. Dude. He whistled and the whole the whole crew just came out. Of course we called back up. So the end of that story goes, these guys are talking back and forth. Uh, I think we're ready to fight yeah. if it came down to it. But I think at the end of it, after all that drama, nothing happened. Nothing. And I actually think like they became friends after. Oh yeah, we had another friend yeah. that, that was gonna come by and pick us up. Yeah. And and uh, yeah, we we kind of scared them in a particular way. Yeah, we followed them all the way on the 605. Yeah, we uh, we're not proud of that. So it's the moral of the story. Know what you want to fight for. <laughs> yeah. But this is it, Liberty Park. One time, two times. Gotta get that on my snap. I love this park. All right, guys, we're here at Westgate Park. This is your home field, man. Yeah. And the most embarrassing story we have to tell. <laughs> we're so dumb. We're so bad. Yeah. I guess if I can summarize the story, it would be... Testosterone. Oh, yeah, freaking pride, testosterone. All mixed up with, like, stupidity. Having friends that are old enough to get things that... Oh, yeah. We aren't old enough to get. I forgot. Yeah, we were, oh my gosh, it might be the same year as the Liberty story. We were maybe 15, 16 years old. What were we doing? I have no idea. Okay, I we guess. We were bored out of our mind. Right, we were bored, we were walking around. Right, we were just walking around the rim right here, and then two knuckleheads, which I will not mention their names. They already You're lucky. Know who they, are. they were like testing each other. One's like, You're not down to buy. He's like, you're not down to like do it until finally the person that was old enough to buy us these things bought a bunch of black and mild black and mild cigars. Cigars. That's the first time I've ever smoked it. And there was like nine or, or ten of us. I'm sorry, it wasn't my last time. But anyways, this guy comes running across the street. Here, fool. I bought them. And we're like, what? And then they even bought like the I don't know like a lighter to to, to have because none of us smoked. Yeah, none, none of us, us smoked. None of us did things like that on these benches here. We smoked like more than half. Yeah. And we were walking back down to my house. I, think I was just like stupid and said, uh, "We just smoke cigars. Let's like run as fast as we can to my house." Yeah. And my mindset was like, "Oh, it justifies it. This is for uh, it's for science." Yay, science! All right, guys. There's no moral of the story other than if you do stupid things when you're a kid. Please be a wiser adult. You never have to partake in something that someone says you do have to. Yeah. To friends. To friends. Later, guys.